Welcome to the Mama Stay Fit YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna be discussing all of the different positions that your baby can be in during pregnancy and labor and common phrases that you might hear during labor referring to your baby's position. I'm Roxanne, I'm a labor and delivery nurse for over eight years, as well as a student midwife, and I'm here to discuss all of the different positions your baby can be in. But before we get into the video, if you have any questions pertaining to pregnancy, birth, or postpartum, please comment them below and we'll be sure to answer them. So the different positions that your baby can be in during pregnancy, it is more than just head down and head up. There are different positions and rotations that your baby can be facing within the pelvis. So the first two common positions are head down and head up or butt down is breech. So they are two normal variations of pregnancy, but one is a little bit less common. So butt down breech is a less common position than you hear, especially for vaginal birth, but you can still have a vaginal birth with breech. We're not going to just be discussing everything about breach, but just know that that is a possibility of a position. Most of our babies during labor will be head down, but where they're facing is going to be a little bit different. And there are different terminologies that your healthcare providers will be using to determine where baby's position is. And they're gonna be using the back of baby's head or the occiput to describe it. So most positions that you might hear is occiput anterior, occiput posterior, OA and OP. And these are the most common positions that people talk about during labor. So OA is your baby's occiput is towards the anterior of our body or the front of our body. So the baby's back is out towards your belly. So they're looking like this within your belly. A lot of people will say that baby needs to be in this OA position for labor to start or progress, but baby needs to be able to rotate through different positions to be born and maneuver through the pelvis. At any point during labor, baby will be in a slightly different position as they rotate, and this is a completely normal process. OA is just what a lot of people are gonna be talking about, and this is just so you know what exactly it is. The next position that is commonly talked about is the OP position. And more commonly, this is looked at as a negative or unoptimal bad position that baby is in. So this is called sunny side up or OP. And this is again where baby's face is facing forward so that occiput is towards the posterior portion of our body or the back part of our body. So baby's spine is in line and next to our own spine and the belly is out. So they look like this within your belly, facing out. But outside of OA and OP, there are way more positions other than those two positions that your baby is moving through. So when a baby moves through the pelvis, they're going to be in different angles within those OA and OP positions. And then the other one that they will be in is called OT or occiput transverse. So they're going to be sideways in your belly. So their occiput is either on your right hip or on the left hip. And as they navigate that mid pelvis, this is usually the position that they're going to be moving through, especially when they start to finish their rotation at the bottom part of the pelvis. A lot of babies are going to be in that LOT position which is a normal position that they all are kind of maneuvering through. If you wanna learn all the different positions that your baby is moving through within the pelvis during labor, you can watch our cardinal rotations video that we'll link below. Another position that you might commonly hear during labor other than OP and OA or sunny side up and baby in a better position is cattywampus or asynclitic. Babies coming down crooked are common things that you're gonna hear if baby is coming down a little bit sideways. Most babies are gonna come down kind of straight into our pelvis, but sometimes their head can be a little crooked as they're coming down, just based off of different things within our pelvis, the space available sometimes pushes baby into this kind of crooked position as they're coming in. And this is just not optimal if baby is in this asynclitic position because a larger portion of their head is presenting. So if you hear cattywampus or asynclitic or baby's coming down crooked, we just need to correct the position that baby's head is in to allow labor to progress. So just to recap, there are different positions that your baby is going to move through during pregnancy, but there are common terms that you might hear to reference your baby's position. The two most common ones are OP and OA. So OP is that baby's head is facing up or sunny side up. The back of their head is towards your back of sacrum. 
OA is baby is facing towards your belly. The back of their head is towards your pubic bone and their back is facing outwards. They might also say something called cattywampus or asynclitic or babies coming down sideways. And this just references that their head is coming down just a little crooked. So maybe the side of their head is presenting rather than the top of their head. They might also say that baby is sideways in your pelvis, and this is just saying that baby is transverse, so facing one of your hips rather than facing back or forwards. It's important to know that baby is going to move through different positions, so just because baby is in one position at one point during labor is not necessarily a bad thing. They could just be rotating through the pelvis to move towards delivery. If you want more information on the baby's positions, as well as maybe different positions you can utilize during labor, you can join our online childbirth education course, where we discuss all of those plus more to include labor comfort techniques, as well as partner techniques you can use in the science of birth so that you can go into birth feeling confident in all of the decisions that you're making. And as a thank you for watching this video, you can use code YouTube10 to get 10% off any of our childbirth education courses, as well as any of our fitness programs that we offer. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we release new videos. We try to release one fitness workout a week as well as one to two educational videos to support you through your pregnancies, birth, and beyond.